iConnectivity gear has become an essential part of every playback rig that I'm associated with. Whether it's my own, whether it's one I'm designing or helping a client with, it's got to have iConnectivity gear in it. I'll play Audi One U for audio and MIDI redundancy. And then for onstage control, I'm going to have a Mio XM or a Mio XL set up to send program changes to gear on stage or to get remote control of my playback server. But I want to show you a trick that I teased on social media and things absolutely blow up. Uh, I, I was getting ready to go on vacation. I grabbed my phone. I did an Instagram live and I was showing everyone how I was able to power iConnectivity devices simply using only an ethernet cable. But here's the thing, iConnectivity devices cannot be powered over ethernet. So how was I doing it? The trick all comes down to something called a PoE splitter. So off stage, I've got my playback server set up. I have an iConnectivity uh, uh, Play Audio 1U. I have two computers. They're all connected to a network switch to create what I call a playback server. Then I have an ethernet cable here. I'm gonna plug this ethernet cable into this network switch that's in my rack. Um, this network switch is powered via um, ethernet. It's PoE powered switch. But there's an extra piece of gear in here, okay? So take a look at this guy. This is called a PoE splitter. This is connected to my PoE switch. And this PoE switch is going to provide power and data to this guy. And then on the back side of this, I've got a cable that's going to convert that Ethernet into uh, my Mio XL. So just like you would plug your power supply, normal power supply in the back of your Mio XL, I've got a cable going out of that into this PoE splitter. Now, I like keeping all this racked up so that it's safe, it's secure on the road, can get uh, uh, beat up beat around and it's perfectly fine. So in my case, I've got a, a Strange Rack 2U uh, rack from Strange Electronic. Let me show you how this works, okay? So I'm gonna take my ethernet cable and if you look at the switch here, this port over here is PoE in and I want you to just hang on this for a second. You'll see this boot up so our switch gets power. Here in a second, that switch is gonna push power to our PoE splitter, which is right here. And then you'll see our Mio XL boot up and it's gonna get its power connection again from that ethernet cable. And here's the beauty of this. This allows us to have a flexible, flexible rig. Look, Ma, no, no power cables, right? I'll spin this around in the back so you can see no power cables whatsoever. Um, we're just powering all of this over ethernet. So this is super, super powerful. The reason I like this is I can then now move this rack anywhere on stage. It could live near drums, it could live near keys. Um, uh, no matter where I need it to be on stage, I'm not hindered by power. And that ethernet cable from this could be up to 300 feet away from my playback server. So that's doing this with a Mio XL. Let me show you a Mio XM. I've got one set up here. This is kind of a hacky little setup that I created with another PoE splitter. Uh, this one, here's the connection from uh, my PoE splitter to my Mio XM there. Uh, on the back here is this port, this ethernet connection. Uh, I'm going to plug in an Ethernet cable into this. There's our power cable. And you can see I can power my Mio XM uh, the same exact way. Okay, now you don't have to, to dual lock yours to the top of this. But for me and um, uh, my setup in particular, this works really well and is really mobile. So here's what we're going to do. Let's set this on our rig here. Okay, I'm going to grab an Ethernet cable. Let's uh, plug this into a free port on our control hub here. I'm going to grab the other end of this cable and this is going to go into this poe uh, port right here okay and again this port this connection is what's going to provide data as well as power to my mio xm and again the beauty of all of this because we're using standard cat 6 cables is each one of these connections and cables could be up to 300 feet away from the previous connection so for example let's walk through this this rack could be 300 feet away from my playback server, okay? This Mio XM, I think this is a 30 foot cable. This could be 300 feet away from my control hub here. So that's the power and that's the beauty of powering your iConnectivity devices over ethernet. If you wanna get the exact gear list and learn exactly how to do this for free, head to futurerig.com and you can sign up and you're going to get access to that gear list, some free training that I have. And you'll also be able to learn how you can actually get my help in creating a future rig and powering your iConnectivity devices with Ethernet. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.